Okay, so welcome back to this channel. So in this video, we will see that how we can handle file uploads in Nest.js API. Okay, so we are going to get our multiple files and then we will validate the size type and then we will upload those images on AWS and also we will save uh, those images URLs in our uh, book uh, document. Okay, in my previous video, I have shown that how we can authorize roles in our Nest.js API. Now in this video, let's discuss about file uploads. So first of all, if I go back to my Chrome and let's go here in the file uploads under these techniques, I have this file upload. If I click on that, first of all, we have to install this type uh, monitor package as dev dependency. We will install that and then we can create our route that is going to be post or put. Then we can use this uh, use interceptors decorator in that we can use file interceptor from where we can get the file. Okay. And then uh, because we have to use multiple files. So if I click on this array of files, I have to use this uh, use interceptor files interceptor we will get our files okay and then we will create our function that is going to be upload files or upload images whatever you want to call it in that we will use uploaded files decorator from there we will get our files and the type is going to be multi dot express dot multi dot file and that is going to be an array of files so in this way we will get our files in our endpoint and then we have to basically uh, validate the files and we will do the validation at the end before that we will upload uh, those images to AWS so let me go back I go to the source book and then book controller okay so here I will create my route that is going to be a put route so I will copy this from here just to save some time and I put that here so the path is going to be slash uh, or upload slash the ID of that book and that is going to be a put route so this is going to be my uh, endpoint and the function name is going to be upload images okay and then let me uh, remove it from here and I will also remove this part and then I will do here console.log like this and we have to put that uh, right here sorry okay so now we have this upload files function first of all this is going to be a put route upload slash id and then we have to use here auth guards because this is a protected route only logged in user can access it so I will use in here use guards and I will use here auth guard and after using the guard we have to use here use interceptor okay so that is use interceptors okay so in that we can use our file interceptor okay and then from here we will get our files you can also call it images so we have used here file interceptor and now um, here we have to first of all get the id of the book so for that i will use here params decorator so param and then from here we will get the id of our book that is going to be id which is string and after getting the id we also have to get in here the uh, files so for that i will use here uploaded um, files make sure to import the files not file because you have multiple files i will import that and from here we can use uh, these files and the type is going to be express dot multer dot file and that is going to be an array so i will actually use here that is going to be array and the type is going to be this and we also have to actually go back and let's first of all install this multer types so i will install that and let's install it okay, so warning is gone from here now we have our files if i log in here files and let's return from here just like that and first of all let's test it out okay so i type here npm run uh, so the start and then dev let's first of all see what we get back and let's also log in here the id of the book save it and now if i go back let's go to the postman actually and i will copy it from here in the new tab that is going to be a put so slash uh, books slash upload and then slash the id of the book so i will copy this from here and i will put that in here like this okay then i go in the body uh, in the form data i will choose in here type here files then file and then let's select files in here so i will select that let's select these three images for just for testing i open that now if i click on send i get here unauthorized we have to also go in the authorization then the bearer token and i will use this token okay i have shown that in my previous videos so now if i click on send 
so you can see that here we get this error but if I go back um, unexpected fields so that is going to be um, files okay so I simply go back and that is actually files interceptor not file interceptor so I will use that save it and now if I quickly go back to my postman if I click on send you can see that here on the terminal we get our three files and then the ID of that book so now we just have to find this book upload these images on AWS and then we have to um, save those images in the uh, book document so first of all let's install a package that is called AWS-SDK okay so we have to use this package to upload our images on AWS so I have installed that and now first of all let's go back to our chrome and make sure to open your aws console so the first thing first we have to go in the iam to create a new user and then the s3 to upload our images so here you have to create your a uh, user okay so after creating the user you will get the access id and then the secret key you can see that i already have a user here if i click on that i can use this user or i can create a new user here so click on create user the username is going to be let's say Ulam dash yt okay then I click on next and then for the group you can add a group in here or you can directly copy the permissions so for example I want to give in here uh, this Amazon s3 full access I will give this user permission okay click on next I can click on create user okay so that will create the user and you can see that here we get this uh, this user if I click on that and now if I go here in the security credentials here I will click on this create access key and then I click on this other and then click on next okay then click on create access key and then I will get in here this access key and then the secret access key so we need both I go back to my VS code in this env dot development I have to add here three of uh, values one is going to be bucket name so in our case the bucket name is going to be nest library api put in here your um, this access key and then also copy this one and put that i copy it from here and i put that so now i have added here as three bucket name uh, key id and also secret key and now you can close that so after adding that you simply have to go back uh, in the s3 you can see that i already have a bucket with the name nestjs uh, library api i click on that you can simply create a new one and make sure to go in the permissions okay and then click on this edit and make sure to uncheck all these options to make it public because uh, and this is a public uh, bucket anyone can view the images so you have to uncheck that and then you have to add this uh, bucket policy so make sure to add your own uh, bucket name right here okay so I will also copy it from here copy that and I will add that here in the root with the name policy dot txt so that is going to be txt and you can get that from the git repo okay i will add the link in the description you can copy that bucket link uh, sorry bucket policy from here and make sure to change this okay and after that we are good to go uh, so simply go in the objects and here i will create a folder for example books and then i will click on create folder and now we will upload our images in this book folder so let's go back and write our code so now let's go to our book service so I go in here and let's get a function in here that is going to be async uh, upload images so in this we will pass our ID of the book and then the files okay and then I will first of all find the book so const book is going to be uh, await this dot book model dot find by ID in that we will pass our ID and then I will check that if no book then throw book not found otherwise we have to upload the images so for that I will create a new folder in the source with the name utils in that I will create my file aws.ts I will import from aws sdk that is going to be s3 and now let's write our code here to upload the images on aws so I will type here export um, async uh, function that is going to be up upload images and in that first of all let's create a promise here so i will type in here return new promise okay in that we know that we have a resolve and reject okay i will remove this from here 
so in that i can put in my try catch if there is any error i will simply reject and pass in here the error otherwise we have to upload the images so first of all let's create a new instance of this s3 so i type here const s3 is going to be new s3 in that we have to pass in here access key id and then the secret access key that we have set in the config file so now we can use this s3 instance to upload the images let's uh, first of all create an empty array here that is called images that is going to be an empty array and then let's use uh, for each loop so files oops that is going to be files okay so i will type here files dot for each um, file that is going to be array of files okay so for each file let's make it async function for each file i have to upload that so first of all file name so file name is going to be file dot original name okay and then we have to prepare the params that we have to pass in the upload function like this so i will type here const upload response that is going to be await s3 dot upload in that we have to pass in here the params and then call dot promise and that will upload the image on the aws so now we have to pass in here some options in the param first of all bucket name so in our case bucket name is going to be aws bucket name that we have set in the config file that is actually aws s3 bucket name and then after that and also we have to actually set in here the uh, the folder so i will type in here that this bucket name then slash books folder and then key the key is name going is going to be file name and then i have to set in here the body so body is going to be this file dot buffer okay so you have to pass these params in this upload and then after that we have to simply push that in the images array so i will type in here images dot push and that i will push in here first of all bucket that is going to be upload response dot bucket and then key and then the uh, location that is the url okay so simply save it and after pushing that i will also check in here that if images dot length is equal to uh, files dot length and then simply resolve the images okay so in this way it will work and also this is aws uh, access key underscore id so this is our uh, file that will upload the images now let's call this upload images function and upload our images so i will type in here const images that is going to be await upload images from utils aws in that we will pass our files okay like this and then after uploading that we will set book dot images is going to be images and then await book dot save and then we will return back the book and we also have to actually create i think so these images field in our model so i go to the schemas in the book here i have to add that so after this i will add in here images that is going to be optional while creating that and that is going to be an array of object and i will use here add prop simply save it and and let's call it as an array of object save it and now this is ready and now we can test it code and test our code so let's start the server in development mode okay so now let's upload our images i go back to postman i have these three images selected so if i click on send so we also have to go back and call in here that function so I will type in here return this dot book service dot upload images in that we will pass our ID and files. Okay, so now let's go back and now if I click on send, so sending the request and let's wait. So you can see that here we get back our book and now the book has images. So the bucket and then the key and then the location. Okay, if I go back to my AWS account and reload it, you can see that we have these three images in here. So if I go back, so in this way we can basically get our files and upload our files on AWS. And also if I open, um, let's open this one, open this image. Let's open this one. 
and now if I open that you can see that this is the same image okay so now we are uploading the images now let's handle the validation part if you want to validate the images before uploading like checking the type of the image or checking the size of the image or the file okay so for that we have to use a parse file pipe builder and I have already discussed about pipes in my previous videos uh, you can watch my nest.js playlist I have added a video in that so in this uploaded files we have to use that pipe okay so pipe is just like a middleware that will validate our uh, basically files okay so I will use here new parts uh, let's say file a pipe builder okay now on that I will call in here first of all add file a uh, type validator okay and then in that we have to type in here our uh, basically file type so file type is going to be let's use in here regex so I will add in here a group and end my regex like this so that is going to be either jpg or jpeg or it is going to be png okay and at the end we also have to call a function that is called build and in that we can pass our options like let's say um, error HTTPS code and that is going to be HTTP status code dot unprocessable uh, entity let's use this now let's test that I go back to my uh, postman and now let's select in here a PDF file so you can see that here I have here resume dot PDF now if I click on send I will get back here error message that validation failed expected this so this is working now let's add one more validation here for the size that is going to be dot add max size validator okay so in that we can pass in our size in bytes so let's say i will type in here max size and this is going to be 1000 this means that 1000 bytes means 1 kb so i will multiply by 10 by 1000 this means that we can have a image of uh, 10 kb and we have to remove this comma from here now let's test it out if i go back to my postman so you can see that this image is 76 kp if I open and now if I click on send you can see that here we get here a message that validation failed expected size is less than 10,000 you can also display a custom message in here if you want like message let's say um, file size must be less than 10 kb save it and now if I go back click on send we will get this error message and let's use in here 1000 this means that it is going to be 1 mb like this so now let's click on send so now it will upload the image on aws okay so in this way we can use our uh, file validations so that's the end of this video i hope that you understand we have discussed all about how we can handle files how we can upload the files on aws how we can validate our files by checking the type and then the size so that's it you can find the source code of this video in the description of this video i will add the git repo link if you want more videos on nest.js make sure to subscribe this channel and you can also post which kind of video should I make in the comment section. So that's it for this video. I will see you in some other video.